ArcGIS Server 9.3 includes a new out-of-the-box ArcGIS mobile application. You can use the new ArcGIS mobile application to complete field data collection or field inspection projects without having to write any code. Let's walk through the creation and deployment of an ArcGIS server-based mobile solution. To do that, I'm going to log into ArcGIS Server Manager, and I'm going to uh, click on the Create a Mobile Project option. I'm going to give my project a name and a description. And I'm going to add some layers of information. I'm going to start by adding a mobile service layer. And to do that, I'm going to connect up to my ArcGIS server. And I'm going to bring in this service. And if I expand the options, I can see the features that are there. Now, here we have the ability to add an alias. Now, the aliases that we have here were set in our ArcMap document and are accessible through this map service. So you can see some of the aliases here. And if I were to happen to change one of these, um, like say OID to claim ID, we would see that reflected in the application. I can also control the uh, fields that are visible, so I'll remove one of the fields here. Also the fields that are editable, so I'll remove another field. So I could go down this entire list and remove uh, any fields that I did not want to be viewed or edited. We also have GPS settings, which I won't address at this time. So now that we've configured our uh, layer properties for this particular service, let's add one more type of information. And I'm going to add a base map layer. And I'm going to give it a storage card, a storage connection. This is on my mobile device. Mobile base map. I'm going to add this. Now, the ability to add a base map is also a new concept of ArcGIS 9.3. New, ge new geoprocessing tools have been added, allowing you to create a highly compressed uh, SDC format base map from your data at the extent of your choice. Now, we'll talk about this uh, and the importance of it uh, a little bit more in a, in a second, but this can drastically improve performance, and, and I'll show you why in just a second here. Now, I'm going to go ahead and hit Finish. Now using the ArcGIS Server Manager application, you can create and manage a catalog of mobile projects. Others can access this catalog to download the applications that you, can that you create. Um, so let's deploy the application that we just created. So I'm going to click on this project. So this is a, a website that is maintained um, in Arc by ArcGIS Server Manager. I can see this exact same site from our mobile device. Let me go down to that. So I'm going to open up my internet browser from my mobile device and to deploy this application all I need to do is access that site. So here we can see uh, the inspection mobile project that we just created. So I'm going to click on it. Now right now our mobile device is communicating with the server to deploy the application. Now I already have a mobile base map on the storage card of my device and this is a significant uh, feature in that uh, we are only pushing the content that we're working with. Now the, the vast majority of our map is nothing more than base map features and having all this stored locally on the device is a significant optimization and performance boost. So you can create your own mobile base map cache with the new geoprocessing tools that are available with 9.3. Now the idea is you build your base map once and deploy it to your mobile device to use repetitively for multiple projects. And this is going to, like I said already, it's going to greatly improve your performance by only pushing the features that you'll be directly working with. Now the installation process that we're going through now is a one-time event. Uh, from this point forward, we will simply open the project and begin our work. I'm going to grab the information for our entire map. There we go. So we now have a full deployment of this mobile device on this mobile device 
uh, and be can begin working directly uh, with our GIS content in the field. Each mobile project that you create contains both the map content and a set of tasks uh, that are used by the ArcGIS mobile application to accomplish uh, different field activities. Tasks guide field workers through the data collection and data inspection process and leverage the business rules that you have designed in your production geodatabase. So let's start off by viewing a map. And we can see not only our base map content, but all of the features that are streamed here in this service. So I'm going to go back to my tasks. And what I would like to do is to search some features. So I'm going to search for all open claims that have a claim ID, and notice this was the alias that we set earlier, that is uh, greater than or equal to 700. So we're just doing a little query here. So this is going to pull up a number of features, and if I were to click on any one of these features, I could uh, browse it on the map, but we'll do that in a second. What I'd like to do, these are the claims that I'm actually going to go to the field and work with right now. So to make it easy on myself, I'd like to take all these claims and add them to a work list. So I'm going to grab the entire list and put it into my work list task. So here on my task, you see we've got a work list dialog. And lo and behold, the three services that we just viewed are, there, are available. So if I click on this, we will see the attributes of this particular. This is being read directly from our geo database. I have the option to edit it if I like. But what I'm going to do now is uh, also browse this on the map. And here we can see a push pin uh, that was put on the map there. And if I zoom in, you see that particular claim in the field. Now, we've just seen how the ArcGIS mobile application is a, uh, a centrally managed uh, application from your web server and this enables the free flow of information between the field and your production geodatabase. In the next demonstration we're going to see how the mobile devices can generate uh, or create and manipulate data and synchronize that back with a central GIS server.